Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you just how easy and efficient it can be to create a professional-looking ebook in Figma. Whether you're preparing a guide, a portfolio, or even something to share with your audience, you deserve a workflow that's simple and effective. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to use Figma's built-in templates and customization tools to make an ebook that looks uniquely yours, with just a fraction of the effort it would take to start from scratch. To begin, let's focus on what really saves time, taking advantage of templates and tools already available in Figma. There's absolutely no reason to reinvent the wheel when so many fantastic resources are right at our fingertips. And the best part is, even though you're starting from a template, you'll still be able to inject your own style and voice into the final product, making it feel like something you created from the ground up. So let's dive in. Once you've got Figma open, head to the Templates and Tools area. You might see this in the main dashboard, or if you're inside a project already, look for the Templates button up in the toolbar. Now, here's the key. In the search bar, type in ebook. Figma's template library is constantly growing, so you'll probably find a wide range of ebook styles, everything from minimalist layouts to more creative, colorful options. Take a minute to scroll through and pick out a design that fits your needs and your brand. Don't rush this part, think about your audience and the kind of visual tone you want to set. Once you've found a template that feels just right, click to open it in Figma. The template will usually come as a fully editable project. If you're worried about accidentally changing the original, you can simply copy the entire design and paste it into your own Figma file. This gives you total freedom to experiment, play around, and make adjustments without worrying about messing up the base template. Now comes the fun part, customizing it to make it your own. Start by swapping out placeholder text for your own content. Don't just replace words, take this opportunity to ensure the fonts, headings, and colors match your own style or branding. If the template uses images or illustrations, you can replace those with ones that better reflect your subject or even delete them entirely for a cleaner look. Maybe you want to rearrange the order of pages, add new sections, or bring in design elements from your other projects. Figma is super flexible for this. Remember, every detail you adjust is a chance to make the ebook feel more personal and more unique to you. If this is your first time editing a template, don't worry, it might feel a bit like moving furniture in a new apartment. Trial and error is part of the process, and each change helps you learn a little more about Figma's powerful design tools. Finally, when everything looks polished, you can export your ebook as a PDF, ready to share with clients, friends, or your own community. And that's really it. In just a few smart steps, you've saved yourself hours of grunt work, but without sacrificing that custom, high-quality feel. I hope you found this guide helpful and inspiring. If you have any questions, or if you'd like to see more in-depth Figma tutorials, drop a comment below, I love hearing from you all. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you want more practical design tutorials in your feed, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy designing!